Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a LEGO Super Heroes 2025 leak video. Today we are talking about a bunch of rumors, set numbers and different things coming out for Marvel and DC for January 2025. This is pretty crazy stuff here. I know that you may not believe a lot of it, but it's coming from a reliable source. But as always, take these things with a grain of salt. There are time codes and chapters if you want to hop around. Let's get started with the DC stuff because I think it's the craziest stuff we have 76301 this is a four plus batmobile it's going to be retailing for 1999 usd and has 63 pieces this is probably the least surprising thing here just continuing this four plus tradition it's cool that we are getting january sets here for dc uh, specifically that we're not waiting till the summer like we have been or you know for a really long time or the fall not sure who exactly is going to be including here. I'd love a new villain, but I could just see it being Joker again. It's a four plus thing. We'll have to wait and see. But this next one, seven six three zero two, Superman Mech versus Lex Luthor. It's going to be retailing for fourteen ninety nine USD and has hundred and twenty pieces. So very interesting. I kind of wish that it was a Lex Luthor Mech with Superman. That that was flipped. But regardless, like, the fact that Superman and Lex are both here in a set, to me, means Lego's paying attention to the DC Universe reboot and everything with the new film coming out in the summer that, you know what, let's put Superman on shelves, let's have some sort of comic book sort of set here for people, start the ball rolling, I'm so excited to see what this is going to look like, I think that that thor cape and loki cape that was just introduced i have zero doubt in my mind that that is going to be used for superman i just think that it works and looks so well perfectly for him and lex i cannot wait to see so presumably two new figures here because we don't really have any other sets for them to be taking figures from for superman and lex luther and i love this concept of the mechs we're going to talk about this more with marvel but they did this last year with uh, the Venom mech and Spider-Man. While the figures were just garbage and just reuses. This, however, sounds great. I love the idea of them continuing these two figures per set. I think that is awesome. But next up here, we have set number 76303. This is the Dark Knight Tumblr. It's going to be retailing for $59.99 USD as 429 pieces now obviously we did get the tumbler kind of recently it was 2021 and that came with the scarecrow and batman from batman begins and of course also it had the really cool demon head for batman now this is really exciting to be getting a presumably a minifigure scale version of the batmobile sounds awesome to have a playset like that i hope i hope i hope i hope that it has two face I'd love that so much, and I'd also really love to get a Nurse Joker figure as well. I think that would be so much fun to see happen as well. But getting a Dark Knight set works really well here. I would love then in three years' time, two years' time, we get another Tumblr, and then we get off of the Dark Knight Rises, Give Us Bane, and Catwoman. We've been waiting for Catwoman since the, the, the release of that film and that original set. Or a new Bat would be really cool as well but this is a very exciting let's move over to marvel we've got set number 76307 this is the iron man mech versus ultron retailing for 14.99 usd that sounds awesome to me oh my goodness because again continuing this thing of giving us the mech character is awesome but then here's a another character on top that sounds great i don't know if this is going to be Infinity Saga based or not, but getting Ultron here, I don't know how he's going to look. I don't know if he's going to use, you know, if it's a comic book version, maybe the Wasp sort of Ant-Man Firefly helmet. I think that's something I've been using for my custom minifigure series for a really long time and would work really well for that sort of Ultron. But if it's going to be, you know, they want to cheat and use an Iron Man figure from existing sets and then put Ultron in there and, uh, you know, have it be MCU based so they can use him in other sets. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. But regardless, Ultron is back in 2025. Awesome stuff. 76308 Spider-Man mech versus Anti-Venom for $14.99 USD. That is insane to me. Oh my goodness. Anti-Venom? Like that, that's perfect. This is what I mean by what the mech pack should have been last year. Just giving us a new character like that is so darn cool 
oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see that. What would make that even better is if that's a symbiote suit for Spider-Man. That that would just be the cherry on top. Next up, 76309 Spider-Man versus Venom's Venomized Car retailing for $29.99 USD. I do look at this and I go, hmm, I wonder if this is going to be sort of like what we had for the last two years now where it started off with the... Uh, Miles Morales car, then we got the one last year, and then are we going to get just the black one sort of venomized? We'll have to wait and see. I, I feel like that tradition of January sets could be kept up here using that same design. But next up, 76310. This is Iron Man's car and Black Panther versus Red Hulk retailing for $34.99 USD. So first of all, that naming convention it sounds horrible so it honestly that that's the most realistic thing on anything here <laughs> but the fact that red hulk is here again we know that red hulk is going to be in a captain america new world order set that is what the set's called is you know captain america versus red hulk so the fact that red hulk those pieces presumably maybe a different prints and things will be reused here is very exciting uh this seems to be like a comic book sort of set Iron Man's car, again, continuing the January lineup. Maybe that'll be a similar design using that. And Black Panther being included. It's definitely an interesting choice, for sure, to fight off against the Red Hulk. But, yeah, I I'm excited. I really am to see, also soon, I, I assume, probably in, in the next few months, to see what Red Hulk is going to look like in 2024 and then 2025. And then we have here 76311. Spider-Verse, Miles Morales versus The Spot, retailing for $39.99 USD. That's, that's pretty crazy. Like, again, we have been talking about Spider-Verse sets for I don't know how long. So the fact that this is actually here, that that's crazy. That's, that's nuts to me. I really hope we get a Spot minifigure. I could also see it being like a brick-built sort of thing for Spot. But I'm not sure what else you include there, but... Boy, Spider Verse sets that just and and having that that coal in there and that subtitle just opens the door so wide for other things. Next up, we got seven six three one three. It's a buildable Marvel logo for ninety nine ninety nine USD. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I love the idea of this. I like that might sound so darn boring to some of you, but I look at that. I'm like, ooh, that is such a cool display set. There's also rumored to be a Star Wars one releasing in January as well. So I'm so excited about that. I look at those and my dream minifigure picks for both of those sets is a Stan Lee minifigure in here and then a George Lucas figure for the other one. I would love that so, so much. And then we've also got 76314. We have the Civil War Airport Battle retailing for $99.99 USD. This was something that a lot of people didn't believe from an earlier video that we talked about here on the channel because I've been waiting for this whole list to leak, but it just didn't happen. So a lot of people, a lot of skepticism around that, but here it is. We've got a set number now attached to this. I really think that th this is just locking things in here now in terms of who's going to be in there. We don't know. It was, is it going to be the whole thing? I said in the other video, I could see it being like the No Way Home set where we get a large battle. And then down the line, we get maybe a $30 expansion with uh, Giant Man like they just did for Sandman for No Way Home. But we'll have to wait and see. Again, comment down below. What do you think of this? But be sure to subscribe, turn the bell notification so that you don't miss out on future LEGO Superhero set news and reviews. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you will have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.